Meet Oliver Schwab. He is the managing director of the World Economic Forum. His sister, Nicole, is a member of the executive committee for the World Economic Forum. In July of 2021, she said that COVID was a huge opportunity to have their great reset. I see it as a tremendous opportunity to really to have this great reset and to use this huge flows you know, of money to use the increased levers that policymakers have today in a way that was not possible before. Their father, Klaus Schwab, is the founder of the World Economic Forum. Seven years ago, he announced plans to start tracking the entire population and merge everyone with a central machine, what he now calls the Great Reset. The Schwab family is working together with other families because that's how Team Evil works. You can call them the Illuminati if you like, but they have no official name and they are not illuminated. There is no telling how many family bloodlines are involved, but they keep it in the family for three main reasons, and they all have to do with power. First, and most simply, as a way to gain and maintain their fortune. Secondly, is to carry out long-term secret objectives. These families use insurance companies and private trusts to protect their own fortune from the fiat debt-based system that they created and to generate the kind of money needed for a hundred-year plan. The older generation outlawed natural medicine, introduced petrochemical pharmaceutical drugs, and polluted the environment. And now the younger generation is here to fix it with their totalitarian Great Reset. It's a multi-generational plan that works because of family loyalty and also because of the third reason why they keep it in the family. Trauma-based mind control. Most victims of the CIA's trauma-based mind control program, MKUltra, have come from families with a history of child abuse because multi-generational child abuse makes a child more susceptible to mind control. And most of the characters we see as world leaders are not only actors on a stage, they are oblivious because they have suffered a lifetime of abuse and mind control. The overwhelming majority of people on Team Evil are not all in on it. They simply do as they are told. They follow orders and they don't ask questions. These families see having children as a means of gaining power and wealth. They see their own children as property, as slaves to do the family's bidding. But perhaps it's more like a cult than a family. Nearly a million child orphans were distributed throughout America and the Commonwealth in the late 1800s by an international secret society called the Odd Fellows. Delivered primarily by train, many of these orphans were born in private homes owned by the Odd Fellows and their offshoot, the Daughters of Rebecca, an all-female Masonic organization that featured symbols of mass breeding and fertility. Philip Eugene de Rothschild says that the Rothschild family alone has produced over a hundred thousand children in these secret breeding programs. Most of the U.S. presidents during this time were Freemasons. Four of them were Odd Fellows. And at last count, 34 U.S. presidents are directly related to Charlemagne, King of the Franks, who is believed by these Illuminati bloodlines to be of the Merovingian bloodline a genetic set that they highly value. And Team Evil has always been obsessed with genetics. So it really isn't that strange to point out the similarities between Justin Trudeau and Fidel Castro, Angela Merkel and Adolf Hitler's mother, Barbara Bush and Aleister Crowley, or even Obama and Akhenaten. The only way these families and their abused mind control minions are able to control the rest of us is by dividing us. And if we the people could change that, then we could change everything. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.